Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Tan. Today, we will learn this topic on Area of a Triangle. In Mastery Level 1, our objective is to identify the heights of a triangle given its base. Second, finding the area of a triangle. Let's look into example 1. A, B, and C are vertices of the triangle. Vertices is referring to the point. So can you see, we use single alphabet letter to represent the point. Vertis A, vertis B, vertis C. Next, we use two alphabet letter like AB, BC, and AC to represent the line. And these three lines are the sides of the triangle. And any side of a triangle can be its base. However, the height of a triangle is perpendicular to its base. Perpendicular means the two lines form a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. So if BC is the base, the height will be AB because the base and the height must be perpendicular to each other and form a right angle. If AB is the base, then BC will be the height. You can use a set square or ruler to draw the heights of a triangle for a given base. Okay, because the ruler and the set square has a right angle on the edge. Let's take a look at this triangle. If AC is the base, the height will be from here all the way to vertice B and it must form a right angle so, so that the height and the base is perpendicular to each other. So in example one, we learned that the any side of a triangle can be the base. However, the height of a triangle must be perpendicular to its base. And we can use a set square or ruler to draw the corresponding height for a given base. Let's do example two. This is a triangle, and if the base is here, the height will be here. For this triangle, if the base is here, the height will be here. Can you see that the height form a right angle with the base and it's all the way up to this vertex, uh, vertex. For this triangle, if the base is here, the height will be here. The height and the base is perpendicular to each other. You can extend the base, make it longer with dotted line, and you can see that it's perpendicular. Another way of drawing the height from here to here is to draw from this vertice all the way to the top. This is the height. Oh. 
make sure, okay, from this vertex all the way to here, it's the same. And it form a right angle here. Let's look at example three. What can you tell about the area of a triangle? Spend one minute to see and discover what is the relationship between the triangle and a rectangle. We are back. So the area of a triangle A, B, C is half of the rectangle A, B, C, D. And to find the area of triangle A, B, C, D is using length times breadth. And your length is B, C and the breadth is AB. Oh, okay. The length is AB, the breadth is BC. So BC is four, AB is eight, four times eight, and you times half. So area of the triangle is 16 cm squared. So from here, we learn that area of triangle is also known as the base than the height. The area of a composite figure. So the meaning of composite is having more than one figure. More than one shape. Example one, the figure PQRS is made up of the triangle PQS and QRS. So PQS is here and QRS is here. And QS equal to 16 cm, SR 7 cm, PT 9 cm. What is the area of the figure? So in such a co uh, composite figure, one way is to break it into shapes. In this case, you break it into two triangles. First is to finding the PQS. So area of the triangle, let's recall, it is half time base time height so b can use to represent base h can use, use to represent height so half time 16 time 9 you see the base is perpendicular to the height okay there's a right angle to so that's perpendicular and you will get 
72 cm square. Next, we find the triangle QRS. So half time 16 times 7. So your base is your 16, your height is the 7. So base and the height must be perpendicular to each other. And you get 56. So finding this, and you add this, you get the whole figure 128 cm squared. Okay, let's look at example two. The rectangle PQRS is made out of the triangles PQS, QTS, and TRS. So PQS here, PQ and the S, and Q, T, S, and T, R, S. P, S equals 10 cm, S, R equals 7 cm, and Q, T equals 6 cm. What is the area of the shaded part? So, can you see the, the shaded part? One here, this is another shaded part here. Okay, so how to do? There are two method to do this question. Method one is to take away the straight up part. So can you see this uh, rectangle? If I take away this un this uh, unstraight up part with the white piece, I left with the two black piece. So first, I find the whole figure with a rectangle and if a rectangle PQRS is length time breadth to find the rectangle. And length is 10 cm, breadth is 7 cm, I get 70 cm squared. Next, I find this white triangle with an unshaded part. So QTS, so for QTS is half time base time height. So remember, for this type of triangle, the base is here, and dot, 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 dot. You can extend the base and the height. This is the height. So it's half times six times seven, and you get 21 cm squared. So the whole rectangle take away the 21 cm square, you left with 49 cm square. Method two is to add the triangle. So you simply find the area triangle PQS. So half time base time height, is half times seven times ten, you get thirty five cm square. 
second triangle of TRS half times 7 times 4. How do you get 4 here? Look, here is a 10. Here is a 6. So here will be a 4 cm. So half times 7 times 4, 14 cm squared. And you add them together, 35 cm squared plus 14 cm squared, you get 49 cm squared. Take one minute to look at the two methods. 